Let's talk about manifesting on a deadline or a time crunch. Is time even real? I know you guys have heard this a million times to the point you're probably like, blah, blah, blah. I'm hearing about time, but let's really get into it. And let's, let's really look at what deadlines are. Can you manifest on a time crunch, right? Of course the answer is yes, but I want to look at this from a different perspective. So it really sticks with you when you are playing with time. Welcome, my name is Rose and welcome to The Rosie Life where we help you free your mind and follow your heart so you live a life that you love. If you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me or joining The Rosie Life course in community, by the way, I had a community every Wednesday I do, I answer live Q&A every Wednesday at 12 Central Time in the community. And today we've had the most amazing lives in there. And I wanted to share briefly what the community has turned into. It's turned into a, a constant flow of success stories, <laughs> of source stories that are constantly being posted in there. It's a constant 724 support for people to have, have questions, right? And it's, it's a beautiful community. And the lives, what they've become, that uh, the lives have become so wonderful because what I've been doing for a while now and everybody's, this is where I feel like everybody's starting to really level up with is that you can post your questions ahead of time in the forum so that I can read them during the live. And if I have time, I go to the chat, to the live chat and I answer your questions there. But what I do is I take a question, they take the questions that the members in their post and I answer them, but I don't answer them alone anymore. The whole community, whoever's there live, I, we um, do go like kind of like line by line almost sometimes, or sometimes a paragraph or sometimes the whole thing, but we kind of like dissect in a loving way the question. And then I have the community members chime in and I give everyone in the community like a first dibs on answering. So people start commenting in what they think is happening with this person. So you're just not getting me anymore. You're getting a whole community of supporting you and answering these questions. And it's just by far <laughs> like the best <laughs> environment that I've created for a community. Like it is rich in giving. It just keeps on giving. But anyway. If you're interested in that, the information's down below. So I wanted to talk about time again, and I've talked about it in, in previous um, other videos that I've done, but I wanted to talk about in a different way because a lot of people ask, can I manifest in a deadline? I've made videos with people's source stories talking about how they turn things around <clears throat> in a day or two days or instantly or whatever, right? And, and then people ask, can I manifest on a deadline, a time crunch? I need something to be in a week, in two weeks or whatever. So I would like to really dive into this topic so that for once and for all, whether you're new to my channel or you've been around, that you come back to this video whenever you are fearing time. This is going to be something that you can reference to. So let's get started. So deadlines, time crunch, time. That's what we're going to be talking about today, okay? I wanted to start off with a couple quotes to really build the foundation of what we're going to really get into. And this first one is actually by Albert Einstein. So even people that are not in spiritual communities or manifesting communities and they're not, they'll agree, they, they know who Albert Einstein is. He was a physicist, right? And his quote said, one of his many quotes about time, he said, people like us who believe in physics, so he's referring to him and his community, people like us who believe in physics know that time, uh, time distinction between past, present, and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion. In other words, he's saying there's no past, present, and future, and that 
you, if you do believe in a past and you believe in a future, that it's, you are just stubbornly persisting in an illusion, something that doesn't, it's not even real. So let's, let's do another one. A Course in Miracles, time is a trick, a sleight of hand, a vast illusion, here's that word again, in which figures come and go as if by magic. Yet there is a plan behind appearances that does not change. So in other words, all of that movement that you see around you in the illusion that things are going from past, present, and future, people coming in and out of whatever, it, it, that they're coming and they're going somewhere, that they're driving somewhere, whatever. It's like all of this movement around us, right? It's an illusion. But I love this part. Yet there is a plan behind appearances that does not change. What's the plan? What doesn't change? That's the real you. That's the truth. What you really are never changes. And if you even think about a clock, like a clock that has, you know, the two arms in it, right? The center point of a clock, right? It, notice it, it doesn't change. The little arms, you know, circle around it, but the center point is always there. It remains. So you are the center point. Time moves, but it's only an illusion because really nothing's moving. You, right, you think and feel and you're experiencing movement, but it's relative to a point of where you are. So time, and I could, I was having so much fun, like I could just keep going down a rabbit hole with quotes of people and scientists and metaphysical teachers talking about time being an illusion and it's not. So slaves to time, that's what people have become. Unknown, we are its master. So people have become slaves and worshiping time, but unknown, we are its master. So we have been a slave to time. <clears throat> and think about how people are slaves to time. Oh, I'm running out of time. Oh, if only I can buy myself more time. Oh, only if I had more time. I'm running out of time. There's got to be more time. There's not enough time in the day. It's, do you see all of these comments about time? Like, oh, time's running out. It's too late for me. It's been this much time. Uh, that opportunity passed me by, the deadline's over, the, I, I didn't meet the deadline, the first of the month is coming, it's like, oh shoot. Like I told one of my clients, like, oh, here's another reminder, the first of the month, that I still didn't manifest my money, that I still didn't do it. Here's a reminder, the time, the calendar, the clock, the year, the holiday, all of this, another reminder, it's more time, more time. Do, do you see? It's, if you really start, if you were just sat down one day and you started thinking about how many beliefs and how much is wrapped around the concept of time, it would blow your mind. Yet, we wonder why we fear time, why we fear time, and why we worship time, and why we ask questions, can I manifest in a time crunch? Can I? Can I? Hello? Can I? Can I get time to do something for me? Can I have time work out for me? Do you think that I can do it in seven days? Remember, remember you guys, remember time is an illusion. So when you ask a question like that, you're believing in the illusion. You're believing in it, not in you. A deadline is time, is an illusion. That's what a deadline is, a deadline that you set. It's time and time is an illusion. So your deadline is an illusion. You made it up and then you're putting it there and then guess what? What happens? We are used to measuring with time so much that we became a slave to it. We, we build our entire lives around calendars and time, all right? Now is all 
Now is whole. Now is complete. It's a trick to fall for anything else. Time, linear time, right, exists as an experience. As an experience, okay, that was created, but not as a measure of your worth. Not as a measure of your power, not as a measure of your ability. Time is not in charge. Time is not telling you that you did something right or wrong. Time isn't telling you that you have the power to do it. Time is not in charge. Time, it looks like it, it's there, that it's just moving along. Remember what Albert Einstein said, you're stubbornly, persistently believing in something that's fake. And now you're using that fake illusion, that thing that you call time to say, oh, well, I set a deadline for 24 hours and it didn't work. I said I needed it in two weeks and, and it didn't happen. And then what did you tell yourself? That you're not good enough? That you don't know how to manifest? That it didn't work? Right? Do you see it? You're now you're using an illusion to tell you that something didn't work. You're using an illusion to tell you that you're not powerful. You're using an illusion, something that you may, do you, are you guys getting this? That is what is delusional, to use an illusion to tell you to measure your worth, to measure your value, to measure your ability. That's delusional because time's not even real. But yet we are so used to it that we worship it and we think that we have to answer to it, that we have to play with it and try to hack it, try to find multitask task and how to get more time in the day and how to make time work in your favor. You, pl you play with time like Legos. That's what I suggest and invite you all to try. I want you to play with time like Legos or a hammer. Remember, Hammers are useless unless someone picks it up. It's, we have the experience of a hammer. We have the experience of Legos. But if no one touches them, what are they? They, they have little lives of their own. They think on their own. They have little brains and they walk around at night. Well, if you have a kid and you walked around on Legos barefoot, you know what I mean. So I feel that, but that's not what this video is talking about. But tools experiences do not have minds of their own they're not telling you what you can and cannot do okay so so i want you to play with time like a hammer like legos but don't let time enslave you believing in time is believing in measuring your power off of an illusion believe in you believe in you not in time. Believe in yourself, not in time. You, you can play with time and we're here having an experience in, in this 3D, in this world, and, it, and time is part of it, but so are trees, but so is water, but so is food, but so are these bodies. We're experiencing all kinds of stuff, but it doesn't mean that we are it. We're here to have fun with these bodies. We're here to have fun with cats and dogs and trees and cars and jobs and money. We're here to have fun with time. We're here to play with these things. These aren't who we are. These things are here for us. The, the world is here for you to, it's a world of options. What do you choose to believe? This is your video game. I was looking at, uh, like, I remember like four years ago, three or four years ago, when I first started the channel, I remember talking about, uh, my son buying those VR headsets for the video games. And I remember making a video about that, that that's kind of like what 3D is, right? But then I noticed that the a Apple and other people have made products like this. And they're those goggles that you can actually wear and you can drive your car, you can walk around because you can see everything. You're not just like the VR games where you can't see anything or you bump into everything. No, these new Apple goggles is like you can actually see everything and you can see your emails or check your messages or play games or whatever as you're walking around, right? And I'm like, that is more accurate. We're all walking around with our own headset, our own goggles, 
okay? And notice that no one can see what I see through my goggles, and I can't see what they're seeing through their goggles, but yet we're all together. Do you see? But everything through your goggles is optional. How do you want to interact with all of these options? Time, people, trees, money, your body. How do you want to interact with it? And how do you interact with it is you get to decide what everything means for you. You're like, that applies to me. No, that does not apply to me. Very. Thank you very much. I want that and I'm. that does not apply to me. Thank you very much. You're not dismissing it. You're not saying it's not real. You're not saying time's not real. But you get to decide how you interact with it. So pick the thing up and decide who's the boss. You're the boss of time. So if you want to set deadlines, you want to play around with deadlines, go ahead. But if that deadline and as you as you're flexing your superpower here, like Spidey or Batman or all of all the superheroes, right? They pick up their superpower and then they they like they get going. They're like, yeah, and then they poof, right? They're like, okay, not doing that again. That's okay, but they don't they don't like call it in and throw the mask in and say, I'm not ever going to be a super person and again, I'm not doing that anymore because I fell. No, they just pick it up and they do it again and again and again. So do this with time. Pick that bitch up. Sorry, kids. Pick that time up and decide, play around with it. Create deadlines, but don't be disturbed. Don't react to, oh, well, it came and it didn't happen, but it ha it was on the calendar. So what? Calendars, time, clocks, watches, deadlines, holidays, all of that. That's all time. Play with it. And remember, you are above it, that you're greater than it, that it's all within you. You get to decide what it means to you. And don't be, don't be fooled and don't feel like a failure or that you can't or you're unable just because a deadline passed. You're just like, you know what? It doesn't matter. That's just like, a, okay, let me go back again in the game. Let me do this game thing again, okay? It doesn't matter. Stop acting like time is telling you what to do or that it's telling you that you screwed up or that you failed or that you can't have something. You guys getting a little bit of sense of where I'm going with this, right? Play with time. Don't let time tell you what to do. Don't let it bully you around. Instead, remember, time is just here for me to play with. And I'm going to decide whatever I want because there's only eternal now. Remember what A Course in Miracles says, right? That yet there is, there is a plan behind appearances that does not change. So what is that plan behind appearances? Appearances is time. Time is an appearance, right? You are the plan. You are that changeless. You are that changeless. And you're just like dipping down in here with your little goggles on saying, okay, I'm going to play in this 3D. I'm going to go play over there. I'm going to go play over there. And everything is a game or an extra room in your game, right? Whatever it is, you play around with it. And you're just like, it doesn't matter because I win anyway, because that's the plan. The plan is, is that I win. That's the plan behind the appearances is that I always win. Do you see? All right, my loves. Thank you guys so much for liking the video. Thank you guys for all the members on my membership channel. Thank you for joining and supporting the Rosie Life that way too. And I appreciate you guys so, so much. And I just, I just, I just get so excited <laughs> when I make a video and I just love being here with all of you. And I just, I just, like I said before, I'm always honored to be here and share this with all of you. And I love you guys so much. And I appreciate you guys sharing the Rosie Life with others that don't know who I am. and and spread the channel and the joy with everybody else. And I've also been playing a little bit more on TikTok. If you guys are on TikTok, I've been just kind of playing with really like short videos over there, talking about different things that I, I see on TikTok and I just bring them back to to how they can empower themselves on that topic. Um, so that's just been a little bit of a different vibe I've been playing over there too. So if you're interested, all the my handles are below in the description box like always. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye!